hello everyone welcome back to another episode of this basic to advanced series so in this one i am going to talk about transparency so this is really important for us and for understanding this transparency i am going to show you how it works but before that we need to understand one thing that is transparency is just a mask you can simply select a object if you want to remove some part of it you can simply take your eraser tool and then erase that part that is the regular way of working that means this part is erased it is no more here i can simply do read undo to bring them back but it will just give me a few step but if you are working on a big document or working for someone and then you need to do it continuously then you cannot just erase everything because then if you need to make any change you will need to do all over again you will need to like i did this for someone and after one or two days he is asking for me to make some changes here so i will not be able to do that because it is already erased from here i will need to make it again so for avoiding that we use transparency so transparency is just a mask and by using this mask we just hide some part of a graphic like instead of you can see this is the erased one if i select this one let's open transparency i can simply take my pencil tool here to just erase some part of it so basically i am not erasing it i am just hiding it so you can see i can simply make this effect without erasing that part that means if any point of making this design i need to make changes here i can simply go here and then i can fix that it will be easier for me to bring my details back and i can of course modify it i can always change it i can do whatever i want here so that is the freedom transparency gives us and for that we use transparency so basically transparency is whenever we are selecting anything it will show us this option here the screenshot you can see here this bigger shape here so that is basically this one i am showing you here it is hard to show that because it's little small so if i select anything it will give me this option here you can see this is where it is showing what is selected and then there is this box this cross sign box so this is the two box we need to work this is the surface layer i call it that means this is wherever whatever we are selecting it will show here and this is the transparency layer whatever we will do we will do inside this here this box here so first of all if we select a regular object you can see so if we see if we select a regular object it will show us these two option one is the original selection another one is, is this cross box but if we any way if we select multiple object like this it is not going to give us that option that means whenever we are selecting multiple object it is not transparency does not work on multiple object like this so if we select this one we can see easily we can click, click on this make mask option it is going to look like this we can change it of course but there is one shape that is missing so it is not the way now for fixing that whenever we need to work on multiple object first rule of transparency is we need to group them so let me show you here first step is we need to group it so once it is grouped this box will come up and we can work on this one so that is the first rule of transparency it, ne it needs to be grouped and then if we do anything inside the transparency and then if we ungroup them that will bring out i will show you that later but so first step is you need to group or you can select one object at a time and this transparency will work so once your object is grouped wherever you want to place it or it is a single object then you can double click on this cross button or you can click on this make mask both are same so let's click on this make mask now you can see if i click on this make mask it is being invisible that means these shapes are in there and how i can tell that it is showing here that there is two box but it is not being visible not that it is being white it is being invisible so you can see whatever color is in there it is not being visible that means the first rule of transparency is black makes everything invisible but what if we click on this clip option that means if i click on this clip it will make this white now you can see once that is white i can now see this i can select this but we are not inside that area 
so for making any changes of on this i need to click on this option here so now you can see when i click on this one i cannot i can no more select this this is not being selected that means it is kind of a glass we can see this but we cannot touch it something like that so this is the box where we will do our tricks whatever you want to do we will do it here inside this box and once it is done we will click on this option here and it will bring us to the surface layer where we can select this so this is you can see this is the glass wall so inside outside of this that glass wall we can select things we can touch it we can move it do whatever you want but inside this glass wall we cannot touch it we can do whatever we want here but we cannot move them we cannot select them so the basic rules of transparency is it needs to be a group or a single object then select that now i can simply click on here you can select that you can click on this make mask or you can double click on this icon it is going to open up transparency and then make this clip unchecked it will bring us inside the transparency and you can see it is not selecting so that is the first rule of transparency and it needs to be whatever we will do here if that is in black or in darker color that will make it invisible so let me select black here taking my pencil tool and with black if i make anything any shape here it is going to make those area transparent it is not like it is making it white it is making it transparent the background is white so that's why we can see the white but it is basically making it transparent so this is the work of black inside transparency and what if we select other color so if we select a color like this blue color what would what will happen it will also create that same effect but it is not 100 percent black it is not black so it is not making it 100 percent transparent but it is making it a little transparent we can see the color of the background here and of course if i select a little bit more darker color kind of this blue or this blue it is going to make it close to transparent but not 100 percent so 100 percent black will make it 100 percent transparent so that's why we need to use 100 percent black in here but what if we use a lighter color so you can say i am using this yellow color this is really light color and with this yellow color if i draw a shape here what is happening here it is just making that exactly similar effect but as this is a brighter color a lighter color it is making it light transparent so that means this area is being like this this yellow is not a darker color it is a lighter color so it is making it less invisible and wherever we applied that black you can see this is the black area so if we draw anything here with that lighter color it will bring those area back so in here it is not it is doing acting like same but wherever we just painted in black if we want to bring anything in visibility we will just draw in lighter color there so lighter color will make it visible darker color will make it invisible so that is the basic rules of transparency and for confirmation it if i make it 100 percent black it will make it 100 percent transparent if i make it 100 percent white it is going to make it 100 percent original color that means black hides or makes it invisible white shows or makes it visible you just need to understand these two two things nothing else white makes it visible black makes it invisible so that's it now if i my work is done here if i click on this layer here you can see i can now modify this i can do whatever i want to to do with them and this is not going to move from its place and in any point if i need to make an adjustment i can simply go to this option here and then i can play with these options all these i just pasted here I can move them i can change them i can remove them i can delete them whatever i want to do i can do here and once it is done again i have to click here so that is the basic of transparency now if you want to like i don't want to i was working on a design and i make this i don't remember and suddenly or accidentally i just ungrouped it you can see if i ungroup anything it is going to bring back all that we pasted inside the group so you have to be careful about this or if this happens you can simply go back you can press ctrl z to make it group and you know that they are inside this group so if i ungroup this it will bring it will just show up the effect will be destroyed 
so you can see this is how transparency works so let's show you a live example here so this is a baseball bat i am going to use here so this is just to show you an example i will just place two bat here ctrl c ctrl f ctrl r that means copy paste in front and then reflect so you can see this is okay so it is going to look like this so this is my two bat here now i want to make it look like this one bat is on top another one is in bottom so for doing that simplest way is i can select any of this bat let me change the color so that you can understand better so i can simply select any of this color this bat and then i can simply erase some part of it like i can simply erase it from here and that will make it look like that bat is under and the other bat is on top so it is if i make change the color here it is going to look like this so you can see this is how we can use this cool looking effect but the problem is when we are using eraser it is going to erase that part so if after doing some editing or some changes if i want to bring this area back it is not possible to bring them back because it is already erased from here and for fixing this problem we use transparency that means without erasing this part we can simply hide this part let me show you how to do that so here is my copy of the other bat so if i just want to hide any part of it where i just erased it so instead of erasing let me show you changing the color instead of erasing this area i can simply select this object you can see it is showing up here that bat is selected and then if i double click here and then click and inside this box if i draw something in black it is going to hide those area okay so you can see it is red that that's why it is not making it 100 percent transparent we can see that shape here but if you make it black it is going to make it 100 percent transparent so you can see now it is looking like that area is erased now the benefit of this is in any point of editing or anything after two days after two years if i come back to this design i can select this shape and then inside transparency i will find this shape here i can remove that i can erase that i can modify that that gives me the, the freedom to editing my edit my design or make changes in my design without losing it so transparency is basically hiding some part of anything if you want to hide that part it works well instead of erasing we can simply hide that and if this design is finalizes like my client is saying okay this is fine send me the file i can send him and then after two days if he come back and says that okay so if you can make the bat a bit tilt in a bit hard angle or bit straight like this now what i will do here i will need to if i erase that part i will need to make this all over again that means i will need to select this one then i will need to copy that paste it in the other way but in this way i can simply select this one inside the transparency i will find this shape i will just edit this shape i will just change it here you can see it is done and this is how you can always work and it is going to be easier for us to work so that's it for transparency guys i hope you will understand and it is really hard to understand it without showing you example so whenever you will see me using transparency tool basically i am hiding some part part of any graphic by drawing black inside the this box here open transparency then you can draw it here anything you will draw it is going to be hide it is not erasing it is being hidden and then once it is done if you want to come back you can just click on this layer it is going to bring you to the surface layer where you can work with it okay so that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed this one see you in the next one